One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of the rigs have made, <laughs> you know, when I said a lot of the rigs, you know who I mean. A lot of the rigs, which is Tinimbu, is uh, rigging uh, a, 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 what is it called? Rigging the vote of somebody like Pitobi. Of course, they have made one of the biggest mistakes, and uh, this mistake is going to carry them for a very long time. It's going to really carry them for a very long time because. Uh, these people have vowed in every dimension to continue to frustrate everything that has to do with uh, the new Nigeria that we have been praying for. What's up ladies and gents, if it's your first time of coming across the tank, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to follow. Most importantly, like our videos because according to YouTube and Facebook policy, the more you like our videos, the more they help recommend it to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this very channel. Stay with me because I'm about to reveal to you one of the biggest mistakes that the Lord of the Rigs, the Lords of the Rigs have made. Uh, in stealing Pitobi's mandate. Now, uh, on Twitter, I saw where Tinimbo was uh, celebrating Victor Oshime, the do guy that has been championing in Italy and all that, playing the football from the left to right and right to left and all that. And somebody came under the comment section and told him plainly that this guy you are celebrating, there is no trace of on casualties in his life there's no trace of fraud there's no trace of him stealing anybody's mandate to become uh, 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 who he is or to be where he, he he is there's no trace but you that is you know somebody like i think we shouldn't celebrate anybody that hustled legitimately like the people that you should be celebrating are people like mc olomo who like femi fanica the criminals this these are his clique but celebrating somebody like uh, victor shime is attracting bad luck to that young man i'm saying it with every honesty i know that you don't like the truth but i'm going to say it anyways because somebody who has so much uh connection with drugs 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 it's not a man who should congratulate people it's not a man who should celebrate people it's not a man who should be among those clapping for those who have suffered to reach that point where they are i keep saying that i'm going to say it again and again Tenebu made a serious mistake by celebrating him. But let's come to the fact here. The fact here is that P2B is on their neck. Yes. P2B is holding them where they never thought that uh, he's going to hold them. P2B is holding them where they never thought that he's going to hold them. And that is what is happening now. Whether you like it or not, whether you insist or not, the joining to continue uh, 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 the new Nigeria, which is possible. Of course, you, we are not expecting that uh, some kind of miracle will just happen overnight. It's not going to be easy. So many people have already re uh, 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 given up. Some people have already withdrawn. But that is not the case. The case here is that are you withdrawing from, from what? You have suffered for eight years, for more than 60 something years as a Nigerian. You're already withdrawing because of one obstacle. What obstacle have you not seen? We're getting scared that uh, if good luck does not hand uh, uh, power to Buhari, people are going to die. People are going to. Good luck handed over to Buhari, and this is where Buhari brought us now. You don't carry us come now. Now, some of you are already backing out. Oh, I pity you. Case never start now, they back out. You're already tired. Okay, be tired. Then when you start buying a bag of rice for 200,000 naira, for 150,000 naira, that is when your eyes will clear. You know that you don't start enjoying and back out immediately. So I'm urging everyone to do the needful. I'm urging everyone to do the needful. We have a long way to go if you want to get new nigeria then this is what we must do now let me come to the fact that p2b has remained a man who has refused to back out p2b and his team they have refused to back out i said something about kenneth that kenneth that is following p2b i do not trust him even though he's actually one of the spokesmen but i do not trust him let me just keep this record here so that I'll use it on a very good one. I do not trust him. We continue. Peter B has refused to 
in one way or the other. Uh, uh, be intimidated from different propaganda to another propaganda. He has refused to be intimidated. That is the most funny thing that the Buhari, the, the Buhari and Tinimbu's camp are tired of. What kind of man is this? They say, go and ask Ngigi, who stole his mandate for three years. Go and ask Ngigi. You know, we stayed in court for uh, 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 over how many years? Three years. Waiting for his mandate. He stayed in court for over three years. Waiting for his mandate. But he finally got his mandate. And uh, a number of people enjoyed enjoyed everything that has to do with Pitobi's reign. So if we are going to do it again for Nigeria, we are going to do it. Because I and my family won't be buying bag of rice for 150,000 naira. I don't have the money. And I won't be wasting that money. I don't have the money and I won't be wasting that money even though I have it. Let's correct things now. And I love the energy that Peter B is giving them. Let's correct it now. Now, now, now. If not, it's very mistake. This very mistake will be made. And so many people will be dipped into it. Are you getting me? So many people will be dipped into it. This very mistake. So, as time goes on, and as everything play out, let's continue to support P2B. As P2B got my support 100%. Yes. He got my support 100%. Because whether you like it or not, you see this mandate that we have been praying for, this mandate that we have been uh, uh, doing everything possible to restore, we are going to get it back. Of course, May 29 is already at the corner. And they are trying to hand over power to an illegal system. Somebody that it was obvious that he didn't win the election, they are planning to hand over power to him. God will not allow this to happen. Well, I rest my case. I love you guys and thank you for supporting the Tank Cryer. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share if you haven't shared. Like if you haven't liked. God bless you. Peace out.